Africa. They didn't just come one time and then just decide to pop smoke to come to 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 um, South Africa. They've been doing this for a minute. So let me bring them on. Let me add them to. There they are. There go Harry <laughs> <Mary> and Cynthia. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the channel, and I'm sure everybody is interested in hearing how did you guys end up finding yourself here in, you know, on the way to South Africa. Currently, where are you? In Stafford, Virginia. <laughs> Dang, <Where>? why, you, <laughs> like, why you say it like that? <laughs> We're in Stafford, Virginia, in the U.S. of A. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. And um <coughs> excuse me guys. The big question is why are you guys coming to South Africa this time not as a tourist but as a resident? You want to take it? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz I'm so excited. Um the reason why we're coming now as a resident cuz we just retired. I re this I've been on I've been retired for one week. <laughs> one week. <laughs> Congrats. I've been retired about two months now. And, okay. and we're ready for a change. We want to do this is like turning the page. We want to do something different. That's why we want to come and stay and be. Yes. That's, okay. That's why we're 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 determined to come there. Yes. So start back at the beginning and just give us a little bit of history about like your first visit that led you up to right now, because I'm sure it wasn't just like flash to bang like Mark said. So give us a little bit about your first visit and like how the um, like how the thought came to this is something we could do. All right. First of all, thank you guys for having us here on, on your uh, channel. This champ, yeah, it's a channel. channel. So yeah. <laughs> our, our telecast. Yeah. Yes. We have to go back to when when was saying? your first uh we're not related. Hmm? We're not related. We are. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's All right. Okay. When was the first time you 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 you, you visited that Mark? Man, I don't even remember what year that was. The 2020. Well, when you first came? Oh, tw oh, when I came, I came in 2010, but I think you guys came in 2014. No, no, no. They came in 2016. No, 16, but you you asked us to go oh, all the yeah. way back to start what would draw us to that interest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was 2010 and for me. And I have to say, and that's why I said I have to go all the way back to when you first went because watching you going back and forth back and forth back and forth i'm like What's why is he going back and forth what is it he's telling us he's showing you know the excitement of hearing that you've been going back and forth and this and that and that i'm like okay he's been going back and forth and josh has been going back and forth let's find out for ourselves why yeah for ourselves what, what is so exciting about why he's going back and forth so okay so to Going down to 2016, we made a decision. Myself, my wife, and my mom, we said, okay, we're gonna go over there and see for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we went 2016. That was the first time we went. Okay. And not having any expectation of what to, you know, what we were gonna find and everything else. So when we got there, the first the first day, it was like it was. It was just a breath of fresh air going for the first the first time being in South Africa. Now, and I've been to other parts in, uh, of Africa, but I've never been to South Africa. And it was just an eye opener. And I'm like, okay, we're seeing now why he is so excited about this. So after, you know, and after a couple of days roaming around, going through things and everything else, I think the most exciting part is seeing my mother's excitement and how mm -hmm. black she was moving about and making friends and meeting people and talking and eating it's just you know after that we said we have we're coming back it was mm -hmm. that feeling that says we will be back we don't know when exactly but we will be back it was that i said now now we see why he's they are coming back and forth so that was our first of many 
times visiting. Yes. So and, I'm go sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. So um so I I have the memory in my head of when we were taking you guys to look at properties um on one of your visits. Um so Cindy, I want you to tell the story about when it sunk in that this was going to be the plan. Well, I think by then that was like our second or third visit. And mm -hmm. we was enjoying ourselves the whole time that we've been going back and forth. It's like the third time. So now we was going to go see some property. And this was a um, condo townhouse. Yeah. Property your property type. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're walking through, walking through. And our mouth was just like, are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Then you said the price. And then we're like, what? <laughs> Let me get in the pockets now. And so then, I don't know if it hit us at the same time, but I, if you remember, we went and sat on the on the deck, and we was like, mm -hmm. "What what what we doing wrong? What's 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 going on? This we're missing it. We're we're missing something." I think then it hit us to try to figure out how can we make this permanent? Mm -hmm. How can we make this permanent to come over here? Because we knew retirement was coming up soon. Within the, I think then it was like maybe four or five years. The time mm -hmm. was up, so we was trying to prepare. Like, are we gonna make this real, or we, are we just caught up in the, the ambiance yeah. of it all? But no, we was. It was still there. It was still that feeling of like, wow, we, who we need to be. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's 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 hard to wash it off once 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 you've been here and you saw it for yourself and you got put in you got put in spaces where you can actually see yourself. You know, I know some people, they go on vacation and they see nice things and they're like, oh, that was cool for vacation. Then they go back home to their, to their work. Right. They, you know, they show the pictures and whatnot. But then to actually, like, two weeks later, you've been back and you're still talking about it. Three weeks yeah. later, you're still talking about it and you're still recapping it in your mind. It's, it's something that that is, is, is hard to wash away. So that's why I, I see why people are always you know are looking at the option of of moving to south africa and you guys saw right. it yourself and that's right. what happened to you right and we started being like you every time i say somebody say hello well let me tell you about africa <laughs> 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 let me tell it's, you you know it's, it was it was it, it's been a um long coming journey uh -huh. it didn't happen overnight we first had to take we first had to take a trip, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What we say, um, and we certainly love it. We we love it. I, we brought the kids there. The kids yeah, have been, yeah. The kids been. They know that you know they were happy for us that we were making this decision once our retirement had came, and they realized yeah. that you know, hey, it's y'all time now. We done did all we can do for you. You yeah. <laughs> It's time for us to go. It's us on us now. So okay. you know, some of the some of the oh okay. Some of the most exciting what just happened. All right, guys, we, we lost them, but we're gonna get them back. Yes, oh, and hold I think up, they're, hold up. they're okay. Back in. okay, go for it. Go for it. Oh, what I was saying is is <laughs> you know, after the first time we visited and we came back and you know expressing it to, to the family and my mother's excited talking to her siblings and everything and all that. And so after a time is that, you know, the, the brother and sister was asked, how was it? It was like, to us, it was like, we're not going to tell you, you have to experience it for yourself. Exactly. So the second time that, remember the first time it was just us three. Mm -hmm. The second time we brought other brothers and sisters and, and in-laws and everything else. So... You know, so and every time that we have visit there, we took a large. All right, guys, we're going to obviously get them back. I, 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 I truly apologize, but you know, hey, when you leaving leaving America, they be trying to stop you. <laughs> okay. okay. So, one wants to see why is it so exciting for us to go, and it wasn't a hot after that. Hi. I'm Trevor Noah, and I'm South African. And because I'm South African, people from all over the world insist on asking me questions about South Africa. 
So, I decided to make an ad to answer some of those fascinating questions. Like, how cold and snowy is your Christmas? Well, Tracy, unfortunately, we can't afford snow. Now nah, I'm just playing. We're in the Southern Hemisphere, which means when it's freezing in Connecticut, it's fantastic in Cape Town. Klaus sent me this one. Can you play golf in South Africa? Well, Klaus, we actually have some of the finest golf courses in the world, but judging by your 37 handicap, can you play golf? How many stars are your five-star hotels? Brian wants to know, can I meet the lions? Well, I don't know if you want to meet them, but you can see them on safari. And get this, it's not just lions, Brian. We've got everything. There's elephants, there's rhinos, there's giraffes, there's buffaloes, there's leopards. Come on, man, expand your horizons. Ostriches. Is South Africa fun? Is it fun? Are you even watching this commercial, Michelle? Paragliding, bungee jumping, surfing, river rafting, shark cage diving, hot air balloons, hiking, cycling, wine tasting, whatever this guy's doing. Does that not look like fun to you, Michelle? Does that not look like fun? So, now that I've shown you South Africa, my only question is, when are you coming to experience it for yourself? All right, guys, as you guys have probably already figured out, you guys have the opportunity to come on the 2024 real estate tour here in South Africa with the real South Africa. And the last crew that came here for the 2023 real estate tour had an absolutely amazing time. They got the opportunity to bond together as a group they became good friends, people that they did not know. And then of course they had the opportunity to um, have the chance, I'm gonna to say, to understand South African culture for the time that they were here. But as you can see, they had a great time and that's gonna be you as well. Coming here on a trip, getting a chance to meet people. And then of course, everybody has the same idea. I wanna get an opportunity to see Africa South Africa in particular, and number two, being able to see property that is very nice here in the Republic of South Africa. Now, 
the group that came here obviously before and then there was a group before that so this is our third opportunity and all i can say is that each and every time we've done it it's gotten a little bit better people absolutely enjoy and that's why you need to go ahead and sign up for the trip let me tell you a little bit about it first of first of all everything is first class across the board the service that you're going to get is first class across the board the food that you're going to eat that you're going to discover is first class the transportation that we put you in when you go around the city is first class so everything is first class and i think that's why everybody absolutely fell in love with the real estate tour because for a period of time they got an opportunity to do everything get access gain access to properties that they never had an opportunity to see before and then even if they came on their own they probably wouldn't have seen it so you guys probably don't know but we do have an education summit the second day that you're here so again you arrive in country at that point basically all we're going to do is collect you take you to your hotel let you guys absolutely just get on you know just collect yourselves and of course you can go eat have dinner do all these different things you're not going to know anyone besides the persons that you came with but then after that we educate you we put you in a room with all the people that you need to speak to we put you in the rooms with property developers we put you in the room with ceos of certain um properties we put you in a room with everybody that you need to talk to so if you have questions about how it works here in south africa well this is the time that's when you're going to learn so we do that so all the questions can be answered so if you're here looking for um, investment properties then you can talk to the people they will explain to you in detail how it all works and it's not like you're talking to someone who is a middle manager or somebody at the very bottom you're speaking to the people that actually created the programs and the ones that are going to actually gain you that access that you're going to need and we bring those people in the room with you but again after all of that then we get you access to the properties themselves now the estates most of the estates here in south africa they're very private meaning that we generally allow these types of things but of course we're the real south africa um, they work with us very well and they want us to bring people um, you know from the americas simply because first of all they want they want to showcase what they have they want people to see what they have go back and tell everybody hey this is what we have here in south africa so again the access is is second to none and of course everybody that generally comes on the trip once they get here they understand exactly what i'm talking about because you just can't pop up in these places so check it out it's nice yes sir yes sir I, you sure i appreciate the five star service that you have given me mark <laughs> you know is it five star old soldier, is huh? it is it five star bro i come out the airport Brother was right there with a sign up that said, Mike Jones. Okay. And he waved, I went. There, he there you go. Straight to the uh, Hotel. D'Angelo. Yeah. Michael D'Angelo. Yeah. I had a ball, man. Yeah. Got lost in the mall. Oh, yeah, that's okay, though. Man, that mall's so big. <laughs> if you don't have a compass in the map, yeah. you better be acting security. Hey, you better you shoot at. a straight asthma. Yeah. <laughs> so after being here for a few days, and having the opportunity to explore the area, um, like for example, um, we will probably have you in Santon City. Then you get the opportunity in the evening because we start in the morning roughly about eight o'clock, and then by four o'clock we're done, we get you back to your hotel where you can rest and do all these things, and then in the evening you can, you can get with your new friends and explore and meet South Africans, you know, and all of that. So it's a great opportunity to, again, get to see South Africa, but at the same time, you get to see some of the best properties that are here in the country. And all I can tell you is you will not be um, short of properties. So you're going to get an opportunity to see um, 
estates. You get to see standalone homes. You get to see homes that are worth U.S. dollars from as low as 100,000 USD all the way up to a million USD. And it all depends on your flavor and it all depends on what you want to do. But at the end of the day, um, you can actually enter into contracts to purchase property. You do not have to be a resident of South Africa or you do not have to you know, have some special permission to buy property. Um, when you sit down with the finance people, because we're gonna have finance people there, you can ask those questions. So there's so many reasons to come on this tour. I mean, you get an opportunity to see the culture, you get an opportunity to see how they live, and then you can make a, a very good decision on what you wanna do after um, you, know, you completed the tour. Or, hey, while you're here, you can make the decision while you're here. I know a lot of you guys have been watching our channel for a while, and you've seen many people on the real estate tour, and I can tell you this, I know you wanna be one of them, that's why you're watching this video. Um, all I can do is say it's gonna be in high demand. I'm, I'm also gonna tell you that you need to go ahead and put your deposit down, and go ahead and get yourself sorted, because when you're here, I'm telling you, it's gonna be in November. If you look in this video here, it's warm outside because in November in South Africa, we're going, we're leaving spring going into summer. So everything that you're going to need is here. And of course, like I said, again, we kind of try to, you know, stretch it out over a good period of time because at the end, you guys are going to, you're going to want to relax. So we kind of have a safari experience set up for you. And so most of these people enjoyed it and you will too. So all I can say is, Come on to Sunny South Africa. Come on the 2024 real estate tour. You're absolutely are going to love it. And everybody who's been here has has echoed it. I have plenty of videos on our channel. Check them out. So we'll see you here in Sunny South Africa. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.